a beautiful evening. Really warm for this time of year. It's 70 degrees. Old yellow is looking pretty darn good. And uh, this is what the shed turned out to look like. Not too bad. I got a free, uh, another free weed whacker. It's right there. You can see the shadow. And I got some other happenings over here. Take a little walk over here. Doing some repairs on the neighbor's uh, trailer. Beast, seven ton capacity. That's a pretty neat looking rig. I just welded that. Put some paint on there. He had the door open and backed into something and it just broke the hinge off. So, got it welded on the bottom and the top. It seems really strong now. So, that's good. And, uh, I got this free weed eater mower. I have some plans for this. I'll show you guys some crazy plans for this. You guys probably aren't going to get my, uh, aren't going to get why I'm doing this at first, but when the project is, uh, halfway through you're gonna think it's pretty cool as well so what I'm building here is uh, I'm gonna call it the uh, mower cycle kinda like motorcycle but mower cycle so that's gonna be the name so the plan is got that old bike over there and I'm gonna cut the frame and I'm gonna weld it to the mower right here it's gonna be really strong right here this is gonna be really uh, structural right here but um, and then what I'm gonna do is take all the wheels off the mower of course and uh, it's gonna have some bicycle wheels in the back I got them setting over there and it's gonna have a straight shaft and a pulley in the middle of the shaft and the power from the mower there's going to be a pulley coming. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, blades off, of course, and uh, uh, get to the shaft and put a pulley on there. And then uh, a belt that runs from here to here and turns the vertical power into horizontal across the axle. And it's going to have a clutch pulley, that a, a tensioner pulley, I should say, that tensions the belt to make it drive and there's going to be a foot pedal for that clutch and then we're going to have the, of course have the throttle running up here uh, to the handlebars come on camera seriously alright and we're going to have the throttle running up the hand to the handlebars and we're going to have the brakes for the front wheel alright I got it somewhat mocked up Here's what it's going to look like, sort of. Trailer's gone. But that's what it's going to look like. Kind of cool. Alright. I uh, got the, uh... I got it welded right there, but obviously it's going to need a bunch of supports here and stuff to make it strong, because when you sit on it, that puts a lot of pressure right there. Well, I uh, got some things for the project. If I can find them in here. Here it is. I got a pulley. That'll go in the engine. And... New spark plug. Check these out. Great shape. Set. There's a set of these. A set of these with an extra one. And only three of these. Anyway. Let me show you what is happening on the 
project here. So uh, I'm building the frame. You can see it, that support there and these two uh, tubes that run underneath because that uh, mower, you know, that sheet metal stuff is not going to hold stand up to this, you know, all the stress from sitting there and all that. So it's got to have a good, strong um, base. So here's the other piece. It goes like that on the other side. Alright guys, it's Friday night. Um, I'm gonna call it a day. I got the frame done, sort of. The two tubes there on both sides. I think that looks kind of cool. So, the next step is to make the rear axle. I decided to ditch the handlebars or the handle for the mower. I'm going to take those mounts off too. I just think it looks better without it. Even though that was the original plan to keep them, but I think it's going to look better without. So it's coming together and I'm digging it. I also have another pretty cool thing to show you guys. Check out these old um, these old pamphlets or advertisements, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I got a whole bunch of them. Let's see, I got why 1970. That's cool. Just all these kind of things, you know. They're just a uh, couple pages, and they fold out. And they're the originals, you know that dealerships would have, and they're in really good shape. I mean, these are awesome. These are really cool. You know, I love this kind of stuff. I want to frame them. Make nice uh, wall hangers. Got all kinds. Got blazer. Uh, suburbans and uh, panels. Camper. Blazer. So, thought I'd share that with you guys. Alright, thanks for watching.